I want to talk to you a little bit today about the power of TED, T-E-D. So not like a TED talk or, or a person named TED, but T-E-D stands for the empowerment dynamic. Um, and the opposite of the empowerment dynamic is the dreaded drama triangle. So if you've ever been immersed in drama um, and wanted to get out of it or figure out what's going on and what you can do, I'm hoping this quick little video will help you. There is a wonderful website at theempowermentdynamic.com. Um, that's where I got this information. There's a book. Um, you can look up videos. The empowermentdynamic.com website has courses you can take and trainings. So if this tickles your fancy, if this is something that you think, oh, this would be helpful, um, I, I encourage you to go check it out. So the dreaded drama triangle. When, when you hear these different roles, um, you may see yourself in one of these roles. The interesting thing is in, in all of our life, we're not always just stuck in one role. In some things, we might be in one category and in another area of our life, we might be in a different category. So I want you to um, see yourself in how you might be showing up in certain circumstances in your life, especially if you can think of a circumstance that feels like too much drama. So the one role we could be in is we could be in the victim. A victim is focused on problems. They feel persecuted by people, events, or circumstances, and they're looking for a rescuer. So they're not looking to do this work themselves. They ask, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why does this always happen to me? They feel powerless and hopeless in the situation. Then there's a rescuer. The rescuer doesn't think the victim can help themselves. They insert themselves between the victim and the persecutor, and we'll talk about the persecutor in a minute. They feel valued by helping each other. That's how they feel their self-worth is by helping the victim and believes that others will appreciate them for their good deeds. So you could see, have you ever helped somebody and didn't feel appreciated? You can see how sometimes that would be a problem. And then there's the persecutor. The persecutor points out others' shortcomings. They like to vent. They use blame and defensiveness. They want to be right. They're determined to be right. And they dominate the time and the attention of the victim. So that's the dreaded trauma, drama triangle. In a situation at work, you might fill one category. And then in a situation at home, maybe you fulfill a different category. So it's really interesting just to look at the behaviors of each and where you might be doing that. Now, if you watch the module on your thoughts, this is a time where you can start to evaluate, am I thinking this way, all these points on the screen, and how can I think differently? This is where we get to start applying, changing our thoughts about a situation. So the healthier way to operate is the empowerment dynamic. So am I in drama triangle or am I empowered or am I empowering other people? That's where we wanna live as much as possible. So we can correct our thinking, we can correct our how we're feeling and our actions to get different results in our lives. So instead of a victim, in this dynamic, you would be the creator. You see a problem as a challenge. You're focused on the ideal vision. How do we get from where we are right now when we're being faced with this challenge to where we wanna be? And even understanding where it is that you're trying to go. They look to coaches or mentors for support, somebody who's already done the thing you're trying to do. They generate forward energy, and it may be just one step at a time. In fact, that's all we can do is one step at a time. Um, and then a coach supports the creator. They know the creator is resourceful and resilient. The coach uses curiosity, inquiry, and listening to support others in discovering what's best for themselves. So they're not telling you what's best for you, they're helping you discover what's best. And they're not attached to the outcome of others, so they don't get their feelings hurt if the creator doesn't get the result they're after. They realize that's in the creator's control. The coach doesn't create the good thing happening, the creator does. And then you can be a challenger. A challenger builds others up. They encourage growth despite difficult circumstances, they inspire others, they're truth tellers and co-creators. So instead of being the, um, 
Now I forgot the word. Let me go back. Instead of being the persecutor, you're a challenger. Your, your goal is to build the other person up, grow them, etc. So I just, I hope these just two quick graphics on the two differences spark some thinking um, about how you can maybe change your thoughts to live in the empowerment dynamic. The funny thing is you can still be a coach, even if the person's in creator mode, they may not take it. I mean, if the person's in victim mode, um, they may not take that advice and choose to stay in victim mode, but being a coach instead of a rescuer encourages them to come out of victim mode and into creator mode. You're helping empower them. You're helping them recognize that they already have the power to be the creator instead of the victim. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have questions.